Something that a lot of people wouldn't know is that I'm a tomboy. I love sweatpants and sweaters and I'm really good at Call of Duty. I would definitely take a cold beer over like a margarita any day, so. Maybe that's the Canadian in me, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> I feel like people know everything about me. <laughs> I'm an open book. Um, maybe that I can't stand protein shakes. I think they're the nastiest things in the world, and I would starve to death rather than eat a protein shake. My best characteristic is I am empathetic, and I feel a lot, but I also think that's my worst characteristic because it causes me to get into a lot of trouble or it also causes backlash. Like if you hurt my feelings, instead of me processing things, I kind of attack to make you feel the pain I feel. So yeah, kind of sucks sometimes. But then I'm really sorry afterwards. So, you know, I apologize really nicely. Um, I can play most string instruments. I've been playing them since I was like seven or eight. And so I can play everything except for the guitar and the harp, which I really want to learn because those are like the most two beautiful instruments. And I really want to learn those. But yeah, I'm really good at the violin. That's like my specialty. I've seen a lot of bios of me on different sites and in different magazines. And for some reason, they're like all wrong. So don't trust what you read on the internet about me. But just to debunk some myths, I am a Pisces. My birthday is March 15th. I am originally from Miami, Florida. Um, I used to do theater, as you probably got from this conversation. Before I got into the industry, I did some modeling, acting, and I did live audio engineering for a while, and that was pretty dope. Um, I've lived in Florida, I've lived in Chicago, and one of my favorite places in the world is New York. My name is Brooklyn, so, you know, that's where that comes from. If you have any questions about me, shoot me a DM, message me, whatever, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Instagram, because I love getting to know my fans and I like it when my fans get to know me. So I know a stupid amount about early 20th century architecture. I think it's real cool. I, like speaking of, I don't know how much you can actually see on that camera, but like, I just, uh, I love the way that we used to build houses and the way old houses feel and the craftsmanship that a 2021 house just doesn't have. <laughs> Something fun is I really love and used to do uh, Lindy Hop, which is swing dancing professionally, which I think is super fun. Holly has actually filmed me in a swing dancing movie. Mm. I love um, like human body odor, kind of like I like sweat and like, um, what is it called? Pheromones? Pheromones. Yeah, like if you don't wear deodorant, that's okay with me. I would rather you not. Unless you're like stinky, but usually not. Some of my fans know, but I do baton twirling and I feel like every time I say it, somebody's surprised that I do baton twirling, but yeah. I still like do it sometimes. I go like go outside and just like throw them for a while, but I never see anybody else doing them. I did baton twirling for my Twisties Treat of the Month shoot too, which Holly Randall shot, and that was a really cool shoot because we were like on top of a roof and I was like twirling my batons and stuff, so that was cool. People don't usually know that I am country. I like to off-road, I ride horses, I like to go dune buggying, and I have a Jeep that's like tricked out and they think it belongs to a boy, and I'm like, no, it's mine. Ooh, a secret talent of mine that my fans might not know about. I used to rock climb, and I would like to consider myself probably a good rock climber at this point still. Hey guys, if you wanna support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. 
At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.